Before running the GeoVista software, you first need to make sure that you have Java downloaded on your computer. Then you need to download the free GeoVista software directly from the Pennsylvania State University website. I have downloaded it and put it into a file on my desktop called GeoVista application. GeoVista will come with some United States data preloaded, but if you want to use it with your own data, then you have to create a shape file. I have created a shape file here of Auckland City data taken from the 2006 New Zealand Census. This is sitting in another folder on my desktop called GeoVista Auckland Data. Now to run GeoVista, you simply open the folder, double click on the .jar file and it will automatically load with a predetermined set of tools. Here in the left hand frame we see the United States data that's loaded but as I said I want to load my own data so I click on file, load shapefile from disk and select the Auckland City shapefile. Now the variables in the left hand frame have changed and here is the set of census variables that are available for the Auckland City region. I'm interested in the first six of these. First, the percentage of children in each small area in Auckland, that is, those aged under 15. Then the percentage of the working age population in each area, those aged between 15 and 64. Thirdly, the percentage of elderly, 65 years and above. The youth dependency ratio, which is the proportion of children divided by the proportion of the working age population. The old age dependency ratio, the proportion of elderly divided by the working age population. And the total dependency ratio, the sum of the young and the old divided by the working age population. If I click on the second frame called star plot, we see a series of star plots. These are related to the small areas on this map. This is a map of the Auckland region with the star plots for each area overload. It's a very busy map, so I think that we will just close it. Here we have another map. This contains the proportion of the elderly in each region divided into quantiles, the highest third, the middle third and the lowest third. Each quantile is given by a shade of green. The pink is the proportion of the working age population also divided into the lowest third, the highest third and the top third in terms of percentages. And this little matrix shows us the two colours overlaid and we can see how they change from region to region. Notice that each area on the map as it's highlighted is linked to the star plot on the left. Here we have one of the islands in the Hauraki Gulf. This is called Little Barrier Island. We can see that the proportion of the elderly here is 16.66 67% and the proportion of the working age population is 56.6667%. If we go over here, in the second frame we can see that those agree with the figures given on the star plot. If we wanted to, we could change the quantiles and have, for example, deciles or quintiles, but at the moment I will just show you some other tools that are available. We can simply add a tool by clicking on add tool. Let's for example look at a cartogram. The cartogram has picked up the first variable in, in our list, the proportion of children. I can size this to fit 
This shows the proportion of children increases as you get to the outer suburbs of Auckland City and that there are very few in the central business district of the city as you'd expect. This is an interesting map so let's just save it on our desktop. Perhaps we could add another tool. A map and scatter, mo scatter plot matrix perhaps. This is far too small to show us anything, so perhaps we'll close this, get it out of the way, and enlarge our matrix. Notice that these maps are very similar to this one, so we'll get rid of that as well. Let's place our cartogram up here. Maybe we'll move the star plot over a little, size this. All I'm doing is playing around with the screen now to put on it the maps that I want to show. I'll enlarge this a little so we can see some of the details. If we go down the diagonal we see we have histograms of each variable separately, still linked to the underlying regions. So the first is the percentage of children, the second percentage of the working age population. If we click on a bar we can see all the areas that are in that group. The last of course is the percentage of the elderly. Here we have the maps similar to what we showed before with each of them showing a pair of the variables. We also have scatter plots of pairs of variables. Here we have the percentage of children and the percentage of the working age population with the best fitting line showing on the scatter plot. Notice how all of the cells in the matrix have the areas linked. We also have the correlation coefficient given for each of the pairwise variables. You can play with this data. You can create an image as I've done here and save it for pub with a screensaver for publication in any paper. We can also, of course, just get rid of things that we don't want by closing them and resizing the maps until we have exactly what we want. I will leave it to you to play with GeoVista and create the images that best serve your purpose.